What's up, y'all? It's Jake from Jake's Bricks here, and today we are going to be making a Lego box poster wall. Yeah, Lego box poster wall. You're probably thinking, is he going to do that on the sets behind? No, I am not taking down any of my sets back here. This is one of my favorite ways to display Lego sets. If you've ever wondered, how does he hang Lego sets like that on the wall? Click on this video right here above. It'll show you exactly how to hang Lego Creator cars and Technic sets like this up on the wall. Would love for you to learn how to do that. But that's not what we're learning today. We're learning how to turn one of your walls inside of your house or your basement into a Lego box poster wall. So you're going to need a couple things to do this. Uh, the first is a box cutter. I've got a link in the description below to the one that I bought on Amazon. Uh, you need 3M tape, double-sided 3M tape, also in the description below. Scissors, everyone has scissors. I, if you need to go buy a pair of scissors, uh, I, I have a link to the one on Amazon, but I'm sure everyone has a pair of scissors in their house. And you need a ton, uh, a bunch of Lego boxes. As small as this Junior's uh, Batman versus Superman, Batman and Superman versus Lex Luthor set, or as large as the UCS Death Star. I'm going to show you how to unfold and display this poster wall here shortly, but I wanted to give you the tips on how to cut out your Lego posters from the boxes. So you've got your tools right here. You start with an extremely sharp box cutter. If you have a dull box cutter, it is going to damage your box and it's not going to come out as well. So really what you do is you cut along the seams. It helps to put an additional piece of cardboard under it so that you don't cut through the table or cut, uh, this is a white tablecloth I've got here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my box cutter and I am going to just cut along the seam and push down as hard as I can. Boom, one cut. Two cuts, three cuts, and that should release these flaps. We'll see how it turned out, okay? So I got a little bit that's still connected there, but it started to split. Yeah, usually it's pretty darn close and you can almost always end up pulling it off. This one I'll fold a little bit, should have a little bit of gap. If you feel like you didn't get it all the way through, Take your box cutter again, push down, go back for it, and you should be good to cut that piece off. And then we cut down the seam, which right up at the top, cleared off as well. So then you open up your box all the way up, and then you cut off the bottom seal. I guess the bottom fold, rather. That one didn't cut as smoothly, so I'll have to run it back over one more time. Make sure we can cut it cleanly. Boom. Awesome. Now you have yourself a Lego box poster. This is step one of many that you're going to have to do to accomplish this Lego box poster wall. Uh, for, for smaller boxes like this, you probably only need one or two pieces of, of 3M tape. I like to do four in each corner. All right, I've cut off three more. Stick those in the corner. And then when you're ready to start displaying these up on your wall, you're going to peel off the back side of the sticker and stick them on the wall. So let me show you exactly how this unfolded in my Lego basement, and I'll give you guys a couple tips and tricks at the end of this video. Ready? Let's go check it out.
Well, check it out. Uh, by now you've seen the Lego box poster wall completely unfold from a plain old gray, boring wall in my basement. He even patched up a couple holes to make this incredible poster wall display. Super simple to do. If you are thinking about recycling your old Lego boxes and you want to spice up one of your kids' rooms, this is a great thing to do. If you are an insane Lego fanatic and you have like yourself a Lego room where you display all of your Lego sets, this is a really cool option to take some of those old boxes, cut them out, and post them up on the wall. Again, this is the example that I had used. I had not put that on the wall, but I've got Lego boxes as small as this one and as large as the gigantic UCS Death Star that you see right over here. And you're gonna want to make sure that you measure out the dimensions of your wall. I have a couple sets up here in the top. Uh, you probably can't see above me, but I've got uh, some ductwork, some ventilation that runs right above my head because I'm in an unfinished basement. But you're gonna wanna make sure you can measure out, cut it out, one of the coolest things that I got to do, and I'm going to show you right, ne right now, is take a look around this, uh, this light switch. When I was plastering the box up on the wall, what I did is I pushed it as hard as I could, and then I took my razor blade and I cut around that light switch so that I get a, a nice tight fit around it so that I could still use this light switch, which is pretty important. Uh, a couple outlets are actually covered up on here. I might regret that later. I probably should have cut out around those boxes, but I didn't want to destroy like dead center in the middle of one of the posters. But I love the way that this looks. I'll probably do some of my Jake's Bricks videos as this is my backdrop at some point. If you go back to some of my original videos, you'll see that I used to have Lego box sets, like new sealed sets stacked up on top of each other. Unfortunately, that, is, that started to wear some of the seals and some of the boxes. So I figured this would be a great alternative to setting up some of my old Lego boxes here on my Lego box poster wall. Hopefully you can do this. If you do, comment below. Uh, I would love to see some of the pictures of the boxes you display in your rooms inside of your house. Again, below in the description is a link to a razor, a, a box cutter razor and uh, 3M tape so that you can do this inside of your home, your work, or your Lego space. As always, it's Jake from Jake's Bricks signing off. We'll see you guys.